Hello everybody, Bronson with the Epoxy Resin Store. Today I'm gonna to show you three easy ways to eliminate bubbles and get a beautiful top coat on your piece. All right, step number one, or the first way you can do, it's my least favorite, but it's effective. It works well with like river tables, those kind of things. It's just 91% isopropyl alcohol straight onto your piece. What you want to do is you want to get yourself a spray bottle and you want to make a fine mist just like that. And if you look here, I'll hit these with that and the bubbles, they disappear with a couple wax. You want to make sure you're using 91% isopropyl alcohol so you're not getting a bunch of uh, water into your piece. It will cause it to go uh, tacky. There's 70, it's a little bit less. Uh, make sure you're getting 91% have a better effect. So the first way is to add 91% isopropyl alcohol. There you go. Now the main reason I don't like alcohol, um, or I don't, it's not my preferred way to get your clear coat, it tends to make these little fish eyes into your resin. See right here and right here, that's from the alcohol hitting it, pushing the resin apart, and you can get that. So in order to get rid of that, you'll want to just tap that out. So it's effective, it depends on your, your circumstance. I, I like to use it when I have a big river table, a lot of river in there and it's a really wet mix, like a deep pour resin that we use, I'll hit it with a casting because I don't have to worry about those fish eyes. Um, it's just easier to do on a big piece like that. That's when I like to use alcohol. Okay, the second way is to use your handy dandy heat gun. Got my favorite one right here. And what you can do is you can just put on a low setting right here, and then you're just gonna go back and forth, slowly popping those bubbles as you go. This is a good, good alternative to have. Um, I use it frequently. Times I use uh, a heat gun is when I wanna push around my resin, maybe push around like the waves on this to make an effect. Or if I'm in a situation where it's not good to use a torch, which is our next one, where I don't wanna put fire in it and alcohol wouldn't be appropriate, a heat gun works are great. Sometimes I work with really, really dry wood. I don't wanna get a torch in there and light my piece on fire. Or if I'm in a in somebody's house or somewhere where they just wouldn't appreciate a torch, I'll use a heat gun in that in that scenario. All right, my third most preferred tool is actually just a torch. We use a, a torch um, with propane. We light that up. Now, when I'm using the torch, what I want to do is make sure I'm making contact with my resin, but I'm keeping it moving. I don't ever hold it in one spot. I'm going to keep a nice rhythm back and forth. What that does is it pops all the bubbles for me, but it doesn't burn my resin. I don't want to leave this in one spot. It'll make a yellow spot. It'll cook my resin. I don't want to do that. So you'll see I'm going to keep my torch moving, and man, it works great. The other tip is before you get into torching or getting rid of bubbles, let your resin set for you know five, 10 minutes. Give those bubbles a chance to rise to the top so you, you only have to do one pass with it. Some other brands that I've used in the past, some of the things I really don't like them is they're super thick. They encapsulate all this air in there and it's hard to get out. Uh, one of my favorite things about super gloss uh, resin is it's just the right viscosity. The bubbles can escape, but it's still thick enough to stay on my board and give me some substance when I'm working. So let me show you how to torch this. Just like that, it's like glass. You'll love it. So three things, isopropyl alcohol, 91% or higher, heat gun, or the trusty torch. All right, if you've enjoyed this video, found value for it, I'm not gonna ask you for any money, but I am gonna ask you for one thing. I'm gonna ask you to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell so next time you can get the new tips from us.